Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And um, this little problem is meant to build up your skills in order that you can do the most complicated thing uh, that I know of on the GED science test, which is balance chemical equations. But before you can balance chemical equations, you've got to be able to count atoms. So let's take a look at this problem that has you do just that. It says a certain chemical equation contains three molecules of sodium sulfate. And right now students are freaking out. Oh my gosh, I don't know what sodium sulfate is. That you don't have to for this problem. You don't have to have anything memorized, okay? So how many atoms, how many atoms of each of the following elements are found in three molecules of sodium sulfate? And here's why I say you don't have to have anything memorized. If they do something like this, they will write out the chemical formula for you. So you don't have to have anything memorized. You just have to know how to read this uh, chemical formula here um, that gives me, this is basically says three molecules. Big numbers out in front, kind of like coefficients in math class, tell you the number of molecules. And then this gives you a recipe for a certain molecule. Uh, the rest of the formula will. And so um, it's like a recipe for sodium sulfate. But that recipe tells you how many atoms are of each element are in each batch, as I think of a molecule, a batch or a molecule of something. So let's, before we consider the three, let's just consider the formula uh, for sodium sulfate. It says Na2SO4. So the first thing you should know is that it's only capital letters that tell us that a new element is happening. So this Na is one element because it has one capital. S is one element and O is one element. And we very nicely told you what these different elements stand for over here. Sodium is the Na. So what you see here is I see Na and I see this little two subscript here. This two down on the bottom tells me that to make sodium sulfate, I'm going to need two sodium atoms. Now, I'm not drawing an accurate representation of this because I don't know what form it actually sticks together. But just trust me that wherever they were stuck together, there would be two sodiums here. Then I see this next capital letter, an S. Notice that there's no number after the S. When there's no number, assume that there's just one. So the sulfur, the S, is just going to have one atom. Again, I'm not drawing you an atom. Um, accurate picture. I just want you to be able to picture this. And then the next thing we see here is that this O, or oxygen, has a 4 following it, meaning that there's 4 atoms of oxygen. And so, in whichever configuration it's stuck together, I would have 4 O's. So this is one molecule or one batch, one recipe, if you think of it, of sodium sulfate. But I don't just have one of those. I have three of these. It's like I have this entire picture drawn three times. So all these number of atoms that we had are going to get multiplied by three. My two sodium Na um, atoms will happen three times. So two times three is six. So I'll have six total atoms of sodium. Then my sulfur. I only had one of those in one uh, molecule, but remember, I've got three molecules. So that one sulfur will be repeated three times. So it'll be one times three, or three total atoms of sulfur. And then finally, I had four oxygens in one of those molecules, but that molecule is repeated three times, so that four will be times three, and I'll have a total of 12 atoms of oxygen. Great, so that's the final answer. Six sodiums, three sulfurs, 12 oxygens. If you um, have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my very best to answer it.